Well, we are cranked up cutting chickpeas today. Cutting up the hailed out ones first. They're a little drier than the ones that uh, didn't get hailed on as much. So Tim and Dad are running machines. Got to finish getting that cleaned up for Husker Harvest Day. That's going to be at the show. Probably already was there since this video is probably not going to be out till after then. But anyways, uh, Goodyear's getting that set down there. Put down the display. I'm going to go dump the cart in the bin, in the truck, and then it's going to go in the bin and uh, keep them going cutting. They're quite a bit cut already, actually. Hi, I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. Our family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over a hundred years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, the north end of the field was not nearly as bad, badly hail damaged as the south. That was around about 15 when I got out of the combine. Now the south end though, like down to two bushel, about the lowest I saw. So, right south of the yard here a little bit is where it really got nasty. So they're going to finish up to that side. I think we'll get the rest on the combine. So I'm going to go dump the cart because we got almost a thousand bushels. Okay. I have almost a thousand bushels on there. So we'll go get that dumped. chickpeas man those CWS bars are working amazing keeping the cutter bars clean and all the pods on the header wheels it's heading to Husker harvest days we're back in the shop so not able to harvest right now but um, we noticed we thought we were having some issues I'll show you where we thought we saw one, our issues to begin with because we noticed some oil coming down here when we were working on the air conditioner on this truck we also noticed some oil residue seeping out down here well this is your air to air cooler or charge cooler or whatever you want to call it air comes in three air filters into your turbo which is pressurizing it through your cooler and then into the engine we started noticing that oil and uh did the phone a friend ask a friend whatever and came to the conclusion that it was indeed our turbo starting to go out i do have a new turbo sitting here waiting now Put some penetrating oil on everything for now this does not normally look this wet i sprayed penetrating oil let it soak for a little bit and we're going to start pulling turbo off of the teal truck for now i'm not ordering any parts right now until i get the turbo off in case something else breaks you know maybe break a stud or uh whatever hose clamps also we're going to change out these boots and they're getting pretty thin so a little mechanical work while we wait for the last of the chickpeas to dry down. Okay, so we've definitely determined that it's the turbo. So, um, just from this damp color here, the oil that we're finding in the cooler. So far, so good. Three of the nuts came off, and one of them, the stud broke loose. The stud is turning. Didn't break the stud. So, so far, we're doing pretty sick in the highly successful category well just getting to the husker harvest days for show day number three been uh kind of hanging out with the titan tire guys i have a tractor down here i'll go show you where that's at but 
a few things from the show. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of filming here, but yeah, we'll go check it out. Second year in a row. No John Deere here for some reason. A little interesting. But there's the uh, new 715 next to the other size quad, like ours, previous size. It's a huge size difference between the two in person. Someday, get one of these on the farm. Bigger tracks, longer, taller. Same cab though as the old ones, but a lot bigger frame. It's a heavy tractor compared to the old one. So. And there's a 16 liter motor that goes in the new quads. Same 16 liter that's in our combines. It's a little different configuration for the horsepower. So 16 liter now instead of the 12, nine, 13 liter, whatever was in the old quad, so. We do have the new turbo on. Everything matched up really well. Went on fairly easy. Warren and I made some pressure caps and uh, on this guy over here, an air chuck. Just used a regular pressure regulator and pushed a little air into there. I don't think we had one or two pounds of air in it and then sprayed it with the little squirt bottle that we sprayed to check for leaks and tires. And no kidding, we found a dozen holes. Um, most of them would on the back side, but right, right through here. Billings uh, Kenworth dealer had uh, air to air cooler, charge cooler. So we have a charge cooler on the way. So we've gone as far as we can on this for now. We have a new motor to put on a hopper. This gray trailer that the teal truck normally pulls has that third hopper in it on the very back, right? This is the chute for it. Well, we were doing bearings on this and where the, the hand crank shaft comes out, the bearings were gone. This is the third hopper. So we're going to mount that electric motor in here, but yet put the buttons somewhere else. Um, but somewhere protected from road debris and all that, somewhere in this area where we can use the buttons, but still be close enough to look around the back of the trailer and see what's coming out. Some of these guys like might look familiar, at least this guy. Well, you guys probably recognize Eric from videos past. Did a few projects out there. Bale skis was the latest one. What else have we done? Some five fingers. Five fingers, uh, cut of our skid shoes. Yep. So, uh, Lots of cool stuff come from these guys at May West. Yeah, looking so, forward to uh, getting you that mini combine to try out. Yeah, that'd be fun. They make a little uh, electric combine that you can go out there and pick heads with it, get a little sample thrashed out quickly and test it for moisture, and then yeah. it's ready to take right to the tester or whatever and see if you're ready to move a combine and leave leave that uh leave that expensive combine yeah or if you got fields miles away that's not worth moving the combine but want to go see where you're at right. that's a pretty cool little tool for that but right. these uh bale skis i didn't do much bailing this year but the guy that did was really impressed with the bale weight excellent and they stayed real consistent consistent you know, longer than they normally would have been so i think the heaviest barley bale he said he had was over 2100 pounds that's a so, good size bale that's a big heavy bale that's, that's so, a big heavy bale but yeah, if you got lots of cool yeah. poly products for all sorts of applications, go go check them out. Electric uh, hopper opener on, and we were able to go direct to that. Um, the switch normally goes right here, but then it's very unaccessible from outside the trailer to be up there. So um, to do it the way that we did, um, we needed this to be shorter anyways. This is the bracket that holds the switch. So we needed this shorter than what this is. So we built our own, uh, Warren built this actually. And then we moved the switch box down here so that if you don't have the remote, you can still reach right up underneath the trailer, which is just in front of the rear axle of the trailer open and close and it's just a quick step to see what's coming out 
down below. So it worked out really well. It came out really nice, I think. Um, just need to reroute my wires. There's a plug that they joined to in the center in between now the middle hopper and the front hopper. So um, yeah, we just gotta tie the wires up. Um, we have some P-clamps that we're gonna end up running the wire through the axles with the rest of the air tubes and wire harnesses and stuff like that. We'll come down this corner, run it down this knock rail and tie it up nice and neat and out of the way. And that way it hopefully cannot get damaged going down the road. And uh, turned out really good. Good project, glad to get it done. There's big wheels. Well, there's the two tractors we have on display here. Had a little meet and greet last two days. So thanks for everyone who stopped by, said hi. Pretty fun deal. Well, they also brought the new Big Bud down and Ron over here has been a machine. There's been people around him all day long that he's been telling about the new Big Bud. So 18 liters cat engine, a C18 and their transmission. Uh, pretty cool machine. It's gonna be really interesting to see where this all goes in the future for Big Bud. Tony wants to go mess around at the farm show. I'll go mess around at the scum. I even adjusted the steering wheel multiple ways in the seat, as many ways as I possibly could. What'd you get for going to the farm show? So yeah, so we're back to cutting chickpeas finally. So, uh, that's about all I have to say about that. I mean, what else is there to say? I do like the Prairie Air Creole. They are uh, definitely helping out a lot. Well, if you know, you know. Uh, that started with a rock, I th we think, that got stuck in the uh, chopper fins, spreader fins, and ended up plugging the whole thing up. Oops. Okay, I had it plugged up, clear up into the sieves. Um, it was a big mess. That took a good 20 minutes to get it dug out, cleaned out, but. Thanks to Warren's help, we're going again. In light of the fact that things can move rather rapidly, uh, we do have the new air to air cooler is on. New pipes or boots, I don't know what exactly you call those, are on together. Everything's tight. I think I walked around it three times and then Warren looked at it and found that I had left this hose clamp loose, but it is tight now. So anyway. We'll make another victory lap. Make sure we got everything tight. Just don't really want to suck dirt into a motor. But I think we're good. Time to head home. Hit the road. It's about a 12 hour drive home, so 12 and a half maybe. But, uh, really hard to do justice to what's all here at a farm show i filmed just a tiny bit of it so if you get the opportunity to get to a show definitely go check them out there's a lot to see everything egg anything from hand tools to grain bins trucks for sale whatever you want to see um, or if you can't get to a show go check out laura farms uh video she said she filmed a lot at the show here it's a hometown show for her her farm's not crazy far from here so uh go check that out and uh see what all happens at these big farm shows. So I'm gonna head back home and finish up harvest. Ah, waiting on the old guy to get out of my way. Well, I am back home from uh, Husker Harvest Days in the combine today, hopefully the last day of cutting chickpeas. We'll get a big chunk of it done today for sure. If we don't finish it all, we might have a few green spots we left on the first field to be cut. We'll go back and get those cleaned up. Maybe tomorrow we'll just kind of see how things go. Yeah, in the combine here for a little while today. Probably switch off Tim later on, but for now, just blowing pods into the head with the air reel, air bar, whatever Curry calls the thing. 
Prairie Wind System. That's what it is, the CWS. It's working awesome. Really does a good job of getting all those pods in the header where they belong. A corn update. We are getting most of the green dried out of there. It's going to be a little while yet, but it's drying down pretty nice already. Well, this is really kind of the first time we've got a load on the teal truck since we put the new turbo on. So, this is my turbo boost gauge. And, uh, yeah, yeah I say we get up to uh, full pressure with the new turbo. Whistles quite nicely. Ugh. Lines to unload are getting long. Happens, I guess. Boy, the sunlight just does not last as long as it did a month ago. It's seven. Well, hey, my GoPro finally turned on good enough to charge. Oh my goodness. Can't really tell what that is, but my GoPro finally turned on enough that charge the battery well enough that it works now that we shut down. So we'll see you tomorrow. Finish bee harvest. Hey, the GoPro turned on this morning. That's awesome, finally. Anyways, we are just uh, wrapping up a little bit of the chickpeas here. Cutting some stuff that was on the edge of the hail damage uh, behind us. We're not going to cut any of that. It's below two bushels, bushel or less, probably less than a bushel actually. And then uh, we're going to go cut some green spots we left um, on the better stuff. So, be done with both combines today. One combine is going to go cut some oats yet. Lots of clues we seeded that were uh, drowned out from the early heavy rains right after seeding. So do that again with one machine. The other machine can be cleaned up and uh, get ready to be put away until we work on it again this winter, get them uh, rebuilt for next harvest. That's the last of the chickpeas.